An OLAP cube is a data structure that allows fast analysis of data according to the multiple dimensions that define a report. The user interface is typically a multi-dimensional spreadsheet that summarizes the data. For example, you may wish to summarize sales data by product, time period, and city to compare and quickly gather insights on sales results. Component 1 OLAP is essentially a cube creator, as it can produce a multi-dimensional spreadsheet from any tabular data set, query, or collection of business objects. The result is a pivot table report that summarizes your data. Component 1 OLAP also works directly with cube data from Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. And that's the focus of this video. In this scenario, the controls act as a front end for your cube data, which is already summarized across multiple dimensions. The UI controls communicate with SQL Server, allowing the user to slice and dice the dimensions and measures present in the cube. To connect with a cube, you will use the connect cube method. This method accepts two parameters, the connection string to a SQL Server with analysis services installed, and the name of the cube. You can report connection and authentication related errors to the user by catching an exception at runtime. Here, you can choose whether to show a pop-up, ask the user to log in, or do nothing. The connection string should set the data source and the initial catalog. If you have more than one Microsoft OLADB providers for OLAP installed, you may need to specify the version of the provider in the connection string as well. For example, setting the provider to MS OLAP will use the latest version of OLADB for OLAP installed on your system. It's not always necessary, but it doesn't hurt to include. You can use Component 1 OLAP with SQL Server 2008, 2012, and 2014. You also need to have analysis services installed and some data warehouse database. The OLAP cube can be deployed on SQL Server in advance, or you can attach a local cube file at runtime from your application. For more information on setting up a data warehouse and obtaining a sample OLAP cube, I recommend using the Sample AdventureWorks database, which is free and widely used. At runtime, users can build reports from cube data much like they would from regular data sets. The key difference is that cube data sets are represented by a tree in the C1 OLAP panel control, with each node representing a dimensional entity or a value for measure. All fields that can be added to the report are displayed with a checkbox. Nodes represented by the summation symbol are measures and can be added to the values collection. Key performance indicators, or KPIs, are also supported and they can be summarized like measures. Fields of entities can be added to the rows or columns collections to build your multi-dimensional pivot table. Download Component 1 Studio for WPF to get the OLAP controls, as well as C Sharp and VB samples to help you get up and running building your own cube front end or dashboard. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Component 1.